Hi everyone, welcome to Zynerd's FAQ series for NEET PG 2024. In a series of uh, sessions, uh, small five minute videos, less than five minute videos, we'll be running a lot of clarifications on frequently asked questions for NEET PG 2024. This is first in the series. One of the first questions that is usually asked is with respect to the category. I have applied as this particular category in the NEET PG exam. How does it impact All India Counselling? Can I change it? Or how does it impact, it my, impact my state counselling? We will just explain something to you. Let us say you have applied as in the NEED PG exam as some category. What are the categories that you would have applied under General, OBC, SC, ST or EWS? Same ways you would have applied as PWD, yes or no in the examination when you applied for 2024 examination long time back. Now when you applied that, it would have been clearly mentioned that all these categories are relevant for which counselling? OBC specifically is relevant for which counselling? MCC's All India Counselling. Therefore, only if you are OBC NCL, please apply as OBC is mentioned. So basically, these details are shared to MCC for All India Counselling. The details are shared to states, but states don't use this information for state counselling. States will have a registration in place and only there, the state categories like BC, BC1, BC2, BCA, OBCA or any SDBC category etc. Those will be listed down and you have to select them while registering for your home state where you are native of domicile or resident of. So that part is separate. State will not take this general OBC, ST, ST data. So irrespective of whether you have applied as general over here, in state you can apply as BC, BC1. You are an ST candidate, you missed applying as SC, you applied as general over here in All India Counseling. In state you can apply as SC uh, category. But for All India, exactly this information flows into All India, MCC will automatically pick up, they will not ask again during registration like the state. So in that scenario, you will have to look at what will be the possibility if you applied something by mistake. You applied Gen by mistake or OBC by mistake, what will be the possibility? Same with PWD and e PWD2, if you have applied as PWD yes or no, irrespective of that, in case you missed out even in your state, let us say you belong to PWD now because of some reason, then you can, uh, you missed out earlier, uh, you can just go ahead and complete the uh, registration for state mentioning that you are PWD, even if you mention no over here. There, there will be a separate validation or they will ask you to bring a disability certificate that you can always bring. So state information or state registration does not depend upon what you gave in the NEET PG exam. But all India counselling information is taken directly from this. Now we will be looking at since state is not taken from here, you can apply separately as state, just give those certificates and go on. We will only be looking at all India based information, what are the category changes possible. So the queries that we will be addressing here is, I applied as gen category in the NEET PG exam, can I change to OBC, SC, ST or EWS in what? In the all India counselling when it happens. I just realized I belong to a particular category, can I do that? I applied as OBC or SC, ST or UWS in NEED PG counselling, can I change to GEN? I applied as OBC NCL but I did not know that non creamy layer ex ex existed. I was OBC A in my state, I thought it was the same as OBC here. Or I applied under these categories thinking that I will get a certificate but right now I realize I, for EWS I am not getting a certificate. Can I change to GEN? GEN in what? All India counselling. Why does this question come? Because from the NEET PG exam directly MCC picks up data from the All India Counseling. Same for PWD too. I did not apply as PWD. Can I change it? I applied as PWD. Can I change it? So those are the queries we will answer. This is, very, this is a simple table. Very, very simple to understand. So basically, if you have applied as GEN in the NEET PG exam, right earlier when the NEET PG exam registration was there in February or sometime, uh, earlier too, this is not possible. You are you will not be able to change to I got an OBC NCL certificate now, I got an EWS certificate now, SC, ST certificate. This entire thing is not possible in MCC. This was a rule based on 2023 and the last many years, gen in NEET PG exam to claim another category has never been possible by default. Basically, which means during registration, you will you will have your category as gen. At the time of registration in the first page, it will say category as gen. You will not be able to change this or edit it. Same with PWD. If you applied as yes, then yes to no is possible. So I applied as yes in PWD and I can say no, no because I did not get the certificate. If I applied as no 
to yes is not possible. This was not possible last year. Will it be possible this year? Will these two be possible this year? Which one? No to yes. Will it be possible this year? We don't know. What is possible is yes to no. PWD yes to no is possible. General to uh, this category is not possible that we clearly know. OBC alone. Let us say you applied as OBC. The second part. Where is it? Where is the second part? So you applied as OBC and now you want to change to general category. I applied as OBC. Now I don't have an OBC NCL certificate. I want to change to general category. Why? Because if I apply it as OBC and then go and fill in my choices, I might get an OBC seat. I go to the round one institute and say, sorry, I don't have my OBC certificate. Then you will have an issue. Your seat will be cancelled. If you get a gen seat, that is fine. But you can't be assured that you will definitely get a gen seat. If you end up getting an OBC seat, at least in the first round, second round, you can go to and change everything. But in the round three, anyways at round three, you will part participating. At that time, you get an OBC seat and you don't have a certificate, you are out of the All India Counselling next year only. So, take a decision right at the beginning to change this in case you think that you will never get, you will not be, you are not eligible for OBC. So, change it to Gen during the editing process. When the registration happens, it will show if you are OBC, category will show as OBC. You drill, uh, you uh, open the drop down, it will also say Gen. You can change from OBC to Gen. Same for SC to Gen, that is possible during the registration window. ST to Gen, EWS to Gen is possible through the registration window. So, all that we are saying is, what is possible? OBC to Gen, SC to Gen, ST to Gen. Is it, this is the exam one, this is the All India Counseling one. EWS to Gen is possible. Gen to Anything OBC, SC, ST, EWS is not possible. Where Gen and Need PG exam to A, All India Counseling, OBC, SC, ST, and SKL, that is not possible. You cannot claim a reservation. One final thing to keep in mind let us say you are changing from OBC to Gen. Your final percentile qualification for Gen is 50 percentile. You are at 40 percentile. You are eligible as OBC, you can log in and fill deem choices or other choices. You won't be able to fill gen category choices, but OBC choices etc. you can fill. But you don't have an OBC NCL certificate. The moment you change to gen and submit, if you are between 40 to 50 percentile, you are out of the council. So be aware of that. Call us if you are looking for deemed universities, but want to avail those seats, uh, even if you are 40 to 40 per 50 percentile, if you want to you need a certificate only if you get an OBC seat. For a gen seat, you don't need a certificate. So, just call us. We will let you know how that works out. If you are confused about this, call us if you are between 40 to 50 percent. Otherwise, it is straightforward. You can change from any category to gen, but gen to any category is possible, not possible. You can change from PWD yes to no, but PWD no to yes is not possible. Always look at 2024 again when the registration starts and check this and then go ahead if there are any changes. Thanks a lot for watching.